probably because my dad said I couldn't, and that my dad ingrained that I was a loser very early, that I was never going to be anything, and he'd shoot down every dream I had. I wasn't even allowed to smile. Get spanked for laughing at the dinner table. Get yelled at. And grab my ears, shake my head, screaming in my face. Call me a fag when I'd wear athletic socks. He threw threw them in the garbage only one time I did that. And you just sit at home and you'd get drunk. Now I'm not getting drunk, but I'm sitting at home. Isolating. And he used to just always like fantasize about beating people up. And now I'm kind of in my head like, not fantasizing about just beating people up, but like, what would I do in a self-defense situation? Someone comes up, I'm all timid. I'm kind of like, oh, what do I do if this guy comes at me? And I'm always thinking like violent, violent, rigid, stiff thinking. And I think anyone who was abused as a kid is going to have that. I can't believe the things my dad did. Like, he was fucking just insane. Like, we had this Shih Tzu dog that he never trained. And it would shit in the house. And then instead of, like, training it properly, he would actually, like, grab the shit and just mash it down the dog's throat and open and shut its mouth, having it eat it. And he'd knock on its skull, screaming in its face. Like, just beating the shit out of, like, this small Shih Tzu, which eventually had tumors in its feet was just shoot, shitting blood straight diarrhea blood didn't put it down just had it suffer lived to like 17 the last five years of its life it was just shitting diarrhea blood everywhere he had this drum of water that he would drown marmots in just getting drunk watching Lindsay lohan movies no job Calling my mom a cunt, people, my mom smashing plates on the ground. He would stare at the neighbors, start fights with the neighbors, try to sue the neighbors. He has a website that he sues like everyone. He was an internet troll before internet trolls were even a thing. He would Photoshop dicks in people's mouths that were around the neighborhood. He was also, I think, a paranoid schizophrenic type because we weren't allowed to talk to my mom's family. My mom wasn't really um, like when my mom's mom would call the house, we would have monitored phone calls like he'd be on the other end with the phone listening in. So we weren't talking badly about him. He was a manipulative, manipulative, controlling guy with my mom. I think he basically groomed my mom, um, moved her away to another city, wasn't allowing her to contact her family as much as she wanted to. My mom didn't want kids. She ended up having three. Wasn't her choice, wasn't her decision. My parents only had enough money for one kid at most. They ended up having three. My dad's alcoholism spir spiraled worse to each kid. By the time I came around, it was just screaming, smashing plates everywhere. Dysfunctional. I was on the street when I was 13. Wouldn't come home. Be out all night. Hanging out with people that were like 25 in and out of prisons. I had a guy put a knife in my hand one day. Told me to bait. I don't know if it was to kill a guy or just to rob him, but... I didn't do it. They beat the shit out of me, threw me on the street. I always liked reading, I always liked swimming, I always liked weightlifting, I always liked dogs. Positives. I need a family. Never wanted a family because what I saw my dad doing. But I'm better than my dad. 
even a slight improvement is is better than nothing and I think I'm a lot better than slightly I think just being able to understand right and wrong and to progress out of this nonsense is huge but I don't know where I'll wind up I always position myself in a, in a position of strength, and it's hard to work underneath somebody when you're doing that. Um, it's hard for me to take orders because my dad would dictate absurd rules and based on superstitions um, that were like folk superstitions, not even like real parenting. And like antisocial behavior and traditional things that would have been punished were rewarded with my dad. Like I'd smack his brother on the back of the head and run around screaming profanities and that kind of stuff was always entertaining to my dad. I remember my dad would go to restaurants and he'd leave a penny as a tip. Um, he'd shit his pants. I don't know why. His mom, my mom would have to scrub it out of his underwear. He wouldn't brush his teeth. All his teeth fell out of his mouth. I might edit this video to cut out the pauses. I'm, I'll probably upload it leaving them in. And then if there's no audience retention to this video, I'll either delete it or I'll edit the pauses out and repost it or post a second video and keep both. I don't know. I feel like I have to represent for people on the street. I feel like there's a lot of people that don't have a voice and I feel like that's why I'm on here. It's because at one point during my early teens I was one of them because I was not in school, I wasn't at home. The only place safe was a freezing cold hellscape of the street. Which is complete madness. But that's how it was. And then the oasis was the library or the swimming pool. That's probably where the disagreement started at work too. Is the treatment of the homeless people. They can tell that I'm not the type that discriminates against them. And they use homeless as a scapegoat for all of society's problems and they want to punch down. I think that's where all this shit started. You have to go with the grain. You have to be the same as everyone. And you gotta hate the homeless. That's how it is here. I have nothing in common with the homeless at this point. So far gone. I'm not... I'm not that guy anymore. I'm not some guy that's lost on the street. I'm not drinking. I'm sober. I'm trying to articulate myself. I'm not... I'm, I'm jealous of people on the street in some ways. Because they seem... They seem miserable. But they also seem happy that they have each other. And I don't have anyone. Sometimes I'm wondering if I would be happier on the street. Even freezing cold. Getting threatened and dying and getting drugs pushed on me at least they have their community and i miss that community i also miss smashing the bottles on the street not giving a fuck too i think that's all there is to say i don't know what else i can say